And the last type of expansion joint specifically we'll look at here is a pressure balance expansion joint, which is designed to absorb axial movement or lateral deflection while restraining the pressure thrust as tie rods interconnect the flow bellows with an opposed bellows, which is also subjected to the operating pressure. It not only restrains the pressure thrust, but it balances it so that the adjacent piping doesn't need to be anchored. And this expansion joint is normally used where a change of direction occurs in a run of piping, like a bender or a T. A T can be used in place of the bellows if the flow considerations allow its use. The major advantage of this pressure balance design is its ability to absorb externally induced axial movement without imposing pressure loading on your piping system. So it's often used to relieve loads on equipment such as pumps, compressors, and turbines. And for the expansion joint to function properly, it's important to understand that the pressure thrust restrained by the tie rods has to exceed the axial movement forces. If large amounts of lateral movement are required, or where the magnitude of the combined axial and lateral movement exceeds that which a, a single bellows can absorb, you can also use a pressure balanced universal expansion joint. In this, in this case, the flow end of the expansion joint contains two bellows separated by a common connector or, or uh, center spool. So I have, I'll just show a web page here for that, but this is just you know the single bellows and then the pressure balancing bellows over there. Uh, if I pull this, this is from U.S. Bellows, and it's just a, um, a website. But this had a nice picture to show if you need to use the kind of the tied universal expansion joint on this side in the piping system, and then the pressure balancing bellows over there. So let's just jump to the model. You can do the elbow or the T. I'll just show the elbow here. And we'll run an analysis and take a look at the displacements. So we can see that there is no lateral movement. So the single bellows on the left is, is enough. It's not really moving laterally. It doesn't look like it's moving laterally. If I look at the actual values, it's not moving in the Z direction at all. So the single bellows on the left side is enough. I don't need that tied universal uh, combination. And the way we model this is actually with a T. So there's a T placed on this side where you put the bend and then the extra straight run to model that pressure balancing bellows. And again, that's in the workbook.